Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here. And we're continuing looking at Paul's prayer to the Colossians church. And we're going to be reading verses 11 and 12. And they say, Being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Now, if you like personality tests, um, you'll relate with this, but I'm an Enneagram 8. And basically what that just means is I like to be very aggressive and look strong. I don't want to be weak. And so every time I read passages like this, I get very convicted because my natural tendency is just to take things over myself, just push through, do it myself. But when I read scripture like this, it reminds me that is not a Christ-like attitude. See, he wants us to live by his strength and his might so that we can glorify God through how we live in every moment of every day. See, when I try and live by my own strength, I am not nice to people. I get really irritable and tired and frustrated and I burn out and I'm exhausted. And living life like that is not fun. But when I choose to surrender to Christ and live by his strength and his might, I have peace and joy no matter what the circumstances are. And life is much more joyful that way. And so, I would encourage all of you guys to surrender to Christ um, and live by his strength. And how we're able to do that goes back to verse 9 as how he starts the prayer of being filled with spiritual wisdom and knowledge. So it, it means that we have to know who God is, read the Bible, and go to him in prayer on a daily, constant basis. And so anytime anything comes up, that you feel stressed or overwhelmed or you don't know what to do. You don't have to try and figure it out yourself. You don't have to try and manipulate or force things. Um, All you have to do is you go to God and lay your burdens at his feet, pray to him, talk to him, cry out to him. However you're feeling or whatever you're going through, he is there with you ready to give you the strength so you can walk through whatever you're facing. But that means that we have to stop trying to do it ourselves, and we have to surrender to him. And when we do that, you're gonna experience peace and joy like you have never before. And in doing that, that gives glory and praise to God. So today I pray that you choose to surrender to Christ, lay all of your burdens at his feet and live by his glorious might. Have a great day.